Hi, everybody. Let's start with the prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Hail Mary. Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Um. So. Um. Oh, that's really All right. Uh, last time, I think we finished one seven, right? Yeah. yeah. I think we're done with that. Yeah. So we had said that the tests were going to be um, next class period, right? I think that's what we had talked about. Yeah, well, I, I, we did move it. I don't remember. I, I have this class twice, and they're on two separate days, so I can never remember who I talked about with what, so I'm just covering my bases. Is that okay? Okay. Um, so the test is, I have it dated at the, um, on the 15th for you guys. That's Thursday, okay? So Thursday next week is the date for the test, the 15th. That's up on my Notre Dame, okay? Um, for Sunday, I'm going to look for the rest of the assigned problems from the problem set, so 23 through 51 and then 53 to 56. Um, I put a review packet into the content library. You should do that as it will be good preparation for the test, but let's make that due in um, the on the 18th like the Sunday after's problem set. Not this Sunday, but the Sunday following. Okay with that? Yep. And that's, again, all that all these dates are in My Notre Dame. So if you don't remember, you can go look at My Notre Dame and it'll, say, it'll tell you exactly the dates for all these things that we're talking about right now. Okay? I try to do a very good job of keeping that as accurate as I can. So if you get to Sunday and you're like, wait, what's due? That's the best place to look, okay? Um, what else did I have? Oh, um, for the test, what do you get to use? Half sheet, okay, can you write on both sides? Yeah, when is it due? Let's say the end of class on Tuesday. By the end of class on Tuesday, you have to turn that into me. So it's you have to turn it into me before the test. I'll give it back to you on the test day. Elise? It's a half sheet that you can write on both sides of the test, right? Well, then I have to turn it over on everybody's to make sure they only wrote on the one side. If I ask you to, to do a half and you can write everywhere, I don't have to look at anything. Okay. That's my reasoning for doing a half sheet both sides. It just saves me like having to look at, you know, one times a hundred, <laughs> whatever, you know, like it's a lot of paper flipping. I know it seems like kind of stupid, but if it's the same amount of information, I'm going to do it the way that makes it easier for me. Yeah, no, no. Ava? I'm just thinking, how did the test supposed to Correct. I've, I, I moved it back a day. So next, today is going to be treated as a review day. Next class, we're going to start chapter two. I did that because the A period was going to fall on Monday, which is a mass day, and I didn't want to have their first test on a short schedule. So rather than creating the day, you know, like you guys taking the test first and taking it second, I just <coughs> bumped both dates back. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. And again, I, again, it, as far as like any due date would go, I would never move up, but things, you know, like things could move back because I was, when I picked a date, I didn't. Look to see if there's mass on that day or something. So to clarify, the half sheet is due the day before. The class before. So Tuesday. Okay, this is just a lot of days. 
That's okay. That's okay. I know. That's why we're going through it slowly and carefully right now. Okay? And again, I'll remind you guys on Tuesday that, like, hey, your half sheet's due by the end. But if you're studying this weekend, it probably makes sense to make that while you're studying. Right? What can go on the half sheet? Anything you want. Examples, notes, theorems, equations, definitions, whatever it is that you think you're going to have the hardest time remembering how to do or what to do, that's what your half sheet is for. It has to be handwritten, okay? So no typing in like half point font and bringing in your magnifying glass, okay? So it has to be handwritten, but you can write as small as you need to. As long as you can write it with, by your hand, that's okay. Elise? Uh, I just wanted to ask for the homework. You jumped from 22 to 31. Uh, so the Sunday's problem set is 23 to 51 and then 53 to 56. So we did, I think that part of that assignment was came last week, but I didn't put it in last week's homework set kind of thing, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, so let's take a minute and talk about the test format. Like what are the kinds of problems you should expect to do? How many of them? That kind of thing. Will this be helpful in making your half sheet? If you're going to put example problems in, I would imagine it would be, right? So the f you'll have four questions where I ask you if something's a function or not. Just ask you to explain why or why not. We have two questions where I ask you to find the domain and write your answer in interval notation. I don't give you any specific direction as to how you have to find the domain. Uh, one question where I ask you to uh, label on a graph the extrema. So whether they're <coughs> local or absolute and maxes and mins. And then to write the intervals of increasing and decreasing for that function. I have one question where I give you the function and ask you to use your calculator to find the extrema. So find the coordinates. And then I'll give you a picture to label. And do the same thing, absolute or local, maxes and mins. Um, I have one question where I ask you to find all of the vertical and horizontal asymptotes and support your answer with a table, or with tables, I should say there. I have two questions where I ask you to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or composition of two functions. One question where I ask you to find the inverse, and one question where I ask you to show that two functions are inverses. Uh, Cheyenne. Uh, F inverse is like F and then the negative one up there of X. Okay, I just like Yeah. So so they'll they'll likely be written. I'll give you a function written as an equation and ask you to find the inverse from that. So it won't be a graph. It'll be a set of ordered pairs. It'll be a mapping diagram. It'll be an equation, so you have to do it algebraically. We did a couple of examples at the end of last time, or during last class of doing that, right? And I think like the, the homework there in the 50s is doing that, I think, as well. Or even maybe the high 40s. Any questions about the test format here. Okay. Um, so we did that, we did that, we did that. Do you guys have any homework questions for me? Cheyenne? 24? Yeah. I think sure.
So I would first start by just graphing. Since this is a fraction, I'm going to do that alpha y equals to get the fraction bar. We've talked about that a couple of times. Then type in my function exactly how it looks on my paper. And then I don't know what the last thing I graph, so I'm going to just do z standard. So I pressed the zoom and picked zoom standard. So it's asking for all the vertical and horizontal. Well, if I look here, it looks like there's a vertical one here, right? And if I count, that looks like negative three that that's yeah, happening in. Okay, there is. Let me get to it. I'll get to it. And there's a vert another vertical one here at one, two, three, positive three. And then if I look, maybe it'll be easier if we turn off the x and y axis. So this is the same function without the x and y axis. So if I look, it looks to me like there's a horizontal asymptote right here because this end is flattening out and this end is flattening out. Do you see that? So that is happening at, if I turn the axis back on, so it's like following the x-axis, right? That's the, that's the line y equals 0 that would be the, the horizontal in this case. Okay with that? Cool. Um, any other homework questions? Okay. Very good. The last thing I have for you guys is, no, that's good enough, right? I think that you guys have enough to do. That'll, that will stop here. So the remainder of your time, you can spend working on your problem set, working on the review packet, putting together your half sheet. Any of those things are a good use of your time. Um, next class on Tuesday, we'll start chapter two. And then on Thursday will be the test day, right? Everybody happy with what's due and what we have to do and what you should be working on?